Hi. I wanted to show you what I've been doing with used uh, nitrile gloves. This is, you know, part of this whole pandemic thing is we were told, and this is, I know, changed as of a couple days ago, that surfaces were the primary form of transmission. So when I go to the store, I've always been wearing gloves. When I get my mail, I wear gloves. And then you wind up with a glove that you wore for, you know, 20 minutes or getting the mail three minutes. You hate to throw these away. But you don't have to. And, you know, in medical situations, you don't want to reuse PPE. But here at home, there's things you can do. In the case of uh, going to the store, I've been uh, wearing gloves going to the store, and in spite of the new uh, suggestions that it's it's not surfaces, I still will be wearing gloves. We've basically gone from being told that you should not wear masks, but think about surfaces and washing your hands and sanitizing surfaces, to don't worry about the surfaces, only wear masks. And I, I assume that we'll have a reversal on that sometime soon, or something's going to come up where we have a new idea. So I'm still going to be wearing gloves to the store. Uh, so I get out of the car, I put on a pair of gloves, I've got a couple other pairs in, you know, my pockets for uh, if I have to take gloves off for, you know, scratching my nose or something. Uh, I've got the gloves, I get back to the car, I take the gloves off, open the door, and I put them in a box. So I've got clean gloves in my front seat, I've got dirty gloves in the back seat in this box, and I'll take and I'll, I'll turn them uh, right side out, or actually not right side out, wrong side out, I, I put the sticky sweaty part uh, out. Uh, and if, if the outside and the inside are, are both wet, for example, it's raining, then I, I put them in another pile just to throw away. But if the outside's dry and the inside is sweaty, I'll turn it so the sweaty side's out and I'll put them in a box. At the end of the week, I put this box in the trunk of my car and uh, put a new box in, in the back. Uh, another week of spending a uh, week quarantined in my trunk They've basically sat for long enough for the virus to die, which is, you know, again, we're, t we're told uh, up to three days on uh, plastics. So I know these gloves are clean. They also got fairly hot because they're sitting in the trunk of a car. So these gloves are now clean or clean enough. Uh, you know, you're not going to be performing surgery with these, but you're also not going to get sick. So I put these in my front seat and then the gloves that are in the back seat go to the trunk and I continue to recycle these gloves. Now, you can't do this indefinitely, right? Uh, you've got your limits in terms of how much human wear you can get out of these and you also have limits in terms of just the total amount of heat damage they can sustain before uh, they go bad. Uh, but you can certainly get, you know, a handful of wears out of these. Another thing that I, I do with these gloves is I wash them. So let's say you put on a pair of gloves, you go out and get the mail, you've worn the gloves for two minutes, you're in your house, what you can do is wash your hands with the gloves on. And again, we know that you know, soap and water kills the virus. We're told, you know, wash your hands, you know, 30 seconds, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can do the same thing to the gloves. You wash your gloves with soap and water, and then you take your gloves and you lay them right side out and let them dry and then they're clean to wear to get the mail again. So I, I don't know I don't know uh, what the future of uh, this virus or PPE or anything is going to look like. I, I, I can't tell you you know what I'm going to be doing in, in two months. Maybe I'll be wearing you know goggles and a foil beanie. I have no idea but uh, the important thing in, in my mind is to Remember that the virus has a finite lifetime outside of the human body. And whatever you have, if you just let it age out, uh, you're going to be safe. With the exception of, for example, you know, putting something in the freezer. So if I was, you know, taking my gloves and freezing them, uh, the virus could stay alive indefinitely. But for uh, most applications, uh, non-cryogenic uh, 
you can just let them age out and then they're safe to reuse.